Dubai, U.S. model and social media darling Chrissy Teigen wore a dreamy gown by Dubai-based fashion house Maisonnier to the Critics' Choice Awards in Los Angeles on Sunday night. The autumn, winter 2018 dress was designed by the label's Egyptian founder, Yasmin Yea, and features a thigh-high split gorgeous sweetheart neckline and a waist-cinching belt. Chosen for Tegan by celebrity stylist Monica Rose, the silver-gray gown was also worn by superstar Nicole Scherzinger when she performed at an event in Dubai last year. Tegan took the look to new heights with Stuart Weitzman sandals and Jaipur Jules diamond earrings. The awards show saw Alfonso Cuarón's Roma, an ode to the director's childhood in 1970s Mexico City, named as the big winner of the night. Roma won trophies for Best Picture, Best Foreign Language Film, and for both director and cinematography for Cuarón, AFP reported. This bunch of Mexicans are not as bad as sometimes they are portrayed, said Cuarón said, a reference to President Donald Trump's hard-line rhetoric on immigration. Shot in black and white, and filmed in Spanish and the indigenous Mixtec language, Roma is a semi-autobiographical chronicle of a year in the life of Cuarón's family and his childhood nanny. Roma, the title a reference to a posh Mexico City neighborhood, earlier won two Golden Globes and is a leading contender for an Oscar at the Academy Awards ceremony in February. Christian Bale, who portrayed former U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney in Vice, won awards in the Best Actor and Best Actor in a Comedy categories, while Glenn Close, the wife and Lady Gaga, a star is born, jointly won in the Best Actress category. Maher Shali Ali, Green Book, walked away with a Best Supporting Actor win, while Regina King, If Feel Street Could Talk, won for Best Supporting Actress. Offbeat 18th Century Royal Romp, the favorite, won the award for Best Acting Ensemble, while its star Olivia Colman won the Best Actress in a Comedy Award. Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse, won the Best Animated Feature Award, beating out stiff competition from Pixar Disney's The Incredibles 2, Disney's Ralph Breaks the Internet, and director Wes Anderson's quirky Isle of Dogs, Tom Cruise Vehicle, Mission, Impossible. Fallout won the Best Action Movie Award, beating Marvel Disney box office blockbusters Black Panther and Avengers Infinity Wars. The multi-nominated Black Panther, however, won awards for Best Visual Effects, Best Costume Design and Best Production Design. Crazy Rich Asians won in the Best Comedy category, beating out The Favorite and The Death of Stalin, among others. Seen as a barometer for the Oscars, the Critics' Choice Awards also includes awards for the Best of Television. The Americans took the award for Best Drama Series, while The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel took the Best Comedy Series Award, with its star Rachel Brosnahan winning in the Best Actress in a Comedy Series category. Topics, Fashion Model Dubai, The Last Earth, A Palestinian Story, by Ramsey Baroud as a collective history of Palestine told through the eyes of ordinary people. Shock updated 11 minutes 53 seconds ago January 14, 2019 12 11, 0 book review, a Herculean effort to tell real Palestinian stories, The Last Earth, A Palestinian Story, is a collective history of Palestine told through the eyes of ordinary people many of the stories overlap Chicago, The Last Earth, A Palestinian Story, by Ramsey Baroud as a collective history of Palestine told through the eyes of ordinary people who have witnessed it, lived through it and continue to fight for their homeland as they recall insurmountable losses and voice their dreams of returning. In this collection of harrowing, heartbreaking and resilient accounts, journalist The Root attempts to unearth the common ground of the Palestinian narrative, often separated by political division, geographical barriers and walls, factionalism, military occupation and grinding years of exile. It is through this book that he is able to portray the stories and shared histories of generations who have fought for their homeland, and it is through their accounts that readers can immerse themselves in the rich soil of Palestine. Rood completed his PhD in the summer of 2015 and began a collaborative project with journalists and researchers to obtain a collection of personal Palestinian histories to record in a book, a kind of reinterpretation, so readers could appreciate the story as told by its tenacious, 
victims, hundreds of Palestinian writers and bloggers around the world sent in their stories and the book was worked out over Skype interviews, all part of Baruch's Herculean efforts to condense the narrative into complete, rich stories while staying true to each individual account. Baruch first introduces his readers to Khalid Abdul Ghani al-Lubani, also known as Marco, born in the Yarmouk refugee camp in Damascus, Syria. His life is made up of old maps and fables of Palestine. He is told tales of his grandfather, who worked for the government during the British Mandate of Palestine. In 1948, his village of al Mujadil, a village that had survived since before it was officially listed in Ottoman records in 1596, was destroyed and his grandfather was forced to leave and seek refuge in Syria. Many stories overlap, from the village of Al-Sawaf or Al-Sharkia, where Abu Sandal's father owned land that he lost to the Israeli army, to Tamam Nasser, who lived in Julis until the war forced her to leave, to Hannah Al-Shalabi, who staged a hunger strike in an Israeli prison after her brother was killed in the village of Burkin. The loss and forced relocation recorded by Beirut is overwhelming, but important to read and remember. Topics, Book Review Palestine